face the inevitable evolution that awaits us all. Humanity is insignificant, pitiful in its smallness. Our existence is a fleeting whisper in the cosmic winds. And only by awakening Cthulhu can we transcend our feeble existence. In one profound act, we can shake the foundations of the universe. Let us awaken Cthulhu, for in his awakening lies the catalyst for a cascading effect that will reshape the... Alright, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a brand new game on my Steam Deck. It's just released and it's called Worshippers of Cthulhu. And the game is a city building slash strategy game. Uh, you have to manage your followers and perform dark rituals, expand your cult's influence. Uh, in, an, in an eldritch world, you have to make sacrifices to Cthulhu. Uh, it basically combines city building with resource management. There is some strategic decision making. As a cult leader, you must guide your followers so that you satisfy Cthulhu. We've reached the edge of his holy realm, Raila. High priest, we may scavenge the fundamental provisions required for our... Now on the Steam Deck, it runs anywhere between 25 to 35 FPS. Now currently, we are looking at the lowest settings. This is how I started and you can see it jumps to 48 FPS, but the more you start to build your city, the the bigger the drop will be in FPS. The game provides the option to limit it to 30 FPS and I would suggest you do that as it's not a game that requires a lot of FPS and limiting it to 30 FPS will conserve some battery life. Currently out of the box running on the lowest settings, battery life is about an hour and 30 minutes on the lowest settings and if you limit that to 30 FPS you can get about 15 to 20 more minutes on the LCD Steam Deck. Now keep in mind my LCD Steam Deck is more than two years old at this point, so some battery life degradation is expected and your mileage may vary. Of course, on the OLED, you are supposed to be getting one more hour of battery life. We require workers, oh high priest. I serve the dead. We require workers, oh high priest. Now, a really cool thing about this game is that it was designed with the Steam Deck in mind. It wasn't designed to play on the Steam Deck, but they definitely thought about people who will be playing it on the Steam Deck as it has full controller support. And even in the settings menu, it recognizes that you're playing on a Steam Deck and it will show you an actual diagram of the Steam Deck controls and how you can play the game using that. So it needs some getting used to as there are a lot of things you can click on the screen and... Some of the controls you have to click, for example, left analog stick, you have to click it in and that unlocks another portion of controls. But overall, you can fully play the game absolutely fine using a controller. Now that shelter is secure, your disciples stand prepared for labor, High Priest. We require Select your devoted followers and initiate oh, the priest. ceaseless work to advance our cause. Now on the Steam Deck, the game looks quite well. Even though it's a bit of a small screen for a city management game, you can still pretty much see anything you need, all the resources that you have available, uh, or all the management stuff that you need to be looking out for in these type of games is, is clearly visible on the screen. Hastily 
something really cool that I also noticed is that the actual key binds for for all of the commands that you need to use remain on the screen. So even if you forget what you really need to click, you can still see what you need to click. And that helped me a lot during my gameplay. I know it's a bit sad that it doesn't run at a higher frame rate. I did test out medium settings as well as high settings as you will see in this video. But even on medium and high settings it will sometimes drop below to the FPS which is not ideal. So I do recommend playing this on the lowest settings and just capping it to 30 FPS. And you should have a pretty great time playing the game. So that's about it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like, comment if you are going to be playing this new city builder, and I hope this video was a good showcase of how the game run. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Serve the dick. Worship the god. We obey. We obey.